What's up, guys? Tony Ramirez here, and welcome to the garage. If you're into turning wrenches, fixing up cars, or just keeping your ride in top shape, you're in the right spot. I drop real-world tips, no fluff, just what actually works. So hit that like button, smash subscribe, and let's wrench smarter, not harder. All right, enough intro. Let's jump right welcome in. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm diving into a topic that often sparks debate among car enthusiasts and everyday drivers alike, gas versus oil shock absorbers. I'll be breaking down the key differences between these two types of shock absorbers, discussing their performance, durability, and how they can affect your driving experience. Whether you're looking to upgrade your vehicle or simply curious about how these components work, I've got you covered. So, let's get started and find out which option might be the best fit for your ride. How to test a noisy shock absorber. How to change your car's shock absorbers. How do I maintain my front shock absorbers and suspensions? How much does it cost to change your car's shock absorbers? Find the best garage to change your shock absorbers, see the price for my car what is the role of front and rear shock absorbers. The main role of the front rear shock absorber pair is to limit the movements of the suspension spring. This spring must not be too soft, otherwise it will rebound. Shock absorbers dampen the movement to avoid rebound effects. They are particularly useful on sharp bends, uneven roads and potholes. Without them, driving would be very tiring, even dangerous. Shock absorbers have six main functions, ensuring that the movement of shock absorber springs remains measured, absorb shocks and eliminate. Rebound effects, maintain contact between road and tires, avoid vibrations in the passenger compartment, how to test a noisy shock absorber. Improve steering precision. How do shock absorbers work? Motorists often associate the shock absorber with the suspension, but although they are linked, they are not the same thing. The shock absorber works with the suspension spring to maintain contact between the tires and the road. This is how your car keeps its balance. Your car's front or rear shock absorber is a tubular piston. It's usually found inside the vehicle's suspension spring. The shock absorber's tube, or cylinder, is filled with oil or gas, and a piston moves inside. The piston compresses and transfers oil from one chamber of the cylinder to another. If the shock absorber expands, the piston moves upwards and the oil moves downwards. In this way, it can absorb shocks. Note that there are also gas-operated shock absorbers, which work on the same principle as hydraulic shock absorbers, but also contain oil. Gas replaces the air in conventional shock absorbers. There are also different types of shock absorber, find the best garage to change your shock absorbers, see the price for my car gas or oil dampers. There are several types of shock absorber. The most common is the oil or hydraulic damper. It consists of two chambers, one filled with oil and the other with air. A piston forces the oil into the air chamber, compressing it and damping your car's vibrations. How long do shock absorbers last? It's not always easy to tell when shock absorbers are wearing out. They generally need changing between 80,000 and 150,000 kilometers. We recommend that you have them checked every 20,000 kilometers or every year when you have your car serviced. Shock absorber wear varies greatly from model to model and from manufacturer to manufacturer, but it also depends on your driving style. Whether you drive in the country, in the mountains or in the city, shock absorbers wear differently. Shock absorber bearings should also be checked every 70,000 kilometers or so. When shock absorbers are incorrectly attached to the chassis or axle, there is a risk of aquaplaning. How to test a noisy shock absorber. Shock absorbers contribute not only to your driving comfort, but also to your safety behind the wheel. That's why it's important to replace them if they become worn. To check that your shock absorbers are in good condition, you can test your suspension and make sure there are no symptoms of wear. Here are a few steps to follow, perform a rebound test, start with a visual check by standing in front of your vehicle, parked on a flat surface. If you notice that one corner of the car is not at the same height as the others, it could be a shock absorber problem. Next, perform a bounce test. Press down on a corner of your car's front bumper, when you release it, it should only bounce once. Several bounces on release indicate one shock absorbers. Repeat this test at every corner of the car to check each shock absorber. Inspect the tires, uneven tire wear can also indicate a shock absorber problem. So check your treads for uneven wear on both sides of the tire. 
Please note, however, that uneven tread wear is not necessarily the result of a shock absorber problem. Visually inspect your shock absorbers, secure your car high up, on a ramp for example, to visually inspect your shock absorbers. While oil inside them is necessary for proper operation, oil on the outside is an abnormal leak. Your shock absorbers need changing. How do you change your car's shock absorbers? How to test a noisy shock absorber? Improve steering precision. See the price for my car. Step 2. Remove the shock absorber. One or failing shock absorbers make onboard comfort less pleasant and driving tiring for the driver. But above all, shock absorbers that are no longer in good condition no longer ensure optimal vehicle handling. Naturally, this can be very dangerous. On average, you should expect to pay between €200 Euros and €350 Euros for a shock absorber change, but the price varies enormously depending on the model of your vehicle. So if you'd like to know the exact cost of replacing your vehicle's shock absorbers, visit our garage comparator for a quote in three clicks. Find the best garage to change your shock absorbers, shock absorber roll shock absorber operation gas or oil shock absorbers when. To change shock absorber bad shock absorber attachment squeaking shock absorber shock absorber test car jack disassemble shock absorber. Install new shock absorber shock absorber replacement price how to test a noisy shock absorber. In conclusion, choosing between gas and oil shock absorbers ultimately depends on your specific driving needs and preferences. Gas shock absorbers tend to offer better performance in terms of responsiveness and handling, making them ideal for those who prioritize a sporty driving experience. On the other hand, oil shock absorbers provide a smoother ride and are often more cost-effective, making them suitable for everyday driving. Consider factors such as your vehicle type, driving conditions, and budget before making a decision. Whichever option you choose, ensuring that your shock absorbers are in good condition is essential for a safe and comfortable ride. Thank you for watching and we hope this video has helped clarify the differences between gas and oil shock absorbers.